standing alone on top of the highest mountain of Austria at sunset and sunrise is an overwhelming experience. The chances to combine this with a full moon night in winter time are very rare. In the early 1980s, I had shifted from my job as a teacher to landscape and climbing photography. That time, a friend and renowned photographer had given me some precious advice. He said, Heinz, you only have one chance to capture a special moment. Make sure you take it with the best camera possible. Sometimes this is easier said than done. I was not sure how I would do carrying my 28 cages heavy bag up an elevation gain of 1900 meters. As I am currently working on a coffee table book for National Geographic, I really wanted to bring along the GFX. The weather looked great and the conditions for climbing were perfect. Luckily, I reached the summit two hours before sunset. When shooting in extreme conditions and fast changing light, I need a camera which supports my way of working. I always shoot in manual exposure mode. Only wheels on top of the camera like on the GFX or my X-T2 serve my demands. Within seconds, I am able to change the aperture, the shutter speed, as well as the ISO level. This is substantial to my workflow and has worked the best for the last 30 years. For almost all shots in landscapes, I also set the focus manually. The large and bright picture in the viewfinder of the GFX, as well as the bright red lines, for the focal point helped me to work fast and safe. In the dark I leveled a small patch of snow right on the exposed summit ridge. I tied myself to the iron bars of the cross in case I would slide off my tiny place. With the setting of the sun the full moon had risen on the other side. The stunning views kept me really busy and in moments like that I just deeply lived this time in nature. In the night the weather changed. A strong wind picked up and soon the summit was covered in clouds. All night I was too cold to sleep. Hours before sunrise I was taking photos again.
I was really lucky to have these clouds rolling in. Two hours after sunrise, the wind died and I finally relaxed and felt the warm rays of the sun. In moments like this, I feel deep satisfaction and gratitude to be able to live all this.